Thank you. More developing news now. The missing Scottsdale man with autism, Najib or Juby Monsif, has been found dead. He was reported missing in September, and today police say they found his remains at a pumping station in a canal in Mesa near Loop 202 and Power Road. That canal also runs right behind Juby's house in North Phoenix, where he was last seen. Our Kim Powell is live at Scottsdale Police Headquarters with what we know so far, Kim. Yeah, police say a worker with the Central Arizona Project was inspecting a system that removes items from the water last week, and that's when they discovered Juby's skeletal remains. Detectives believe that he ended up in the canal within the first few hours of him leaving his house back in September. Now, police say there are no signs of foul play, but of course this was not the outcome anyone wanted. If you've been through Scottsdale in the last three months, you've probably seen Juby Monsef's picture somewhere a flyer on a light pole or on the door of a business. Word of missing Juby spread quickly, and when he wasn't found immediately, the search was expanded. Searches included the use of tracking dogs, air units, drones, and area searches by officers and deputies on foot, bicycle, and horseback. After almost three months, the Monsif family finally has some answers. I personally have hesitated using the word closure. I've met with the family on a couple of occasions since We've made this discovery. Uh, the problem with it is it's an answer, but it's not the final answer. Detective John Heinzelman has been the lead detective on the case. He says Juby's skeletal remains were found by a Central Arizona project worker at a pumping station. The canal that uh, runs right behind uh, Juby's house is the extension of that canal is where he's, his remains were eventually located. Detective Heinzelman and Juby's family once theorized that he had been lured away by someone he met playing online video games. But police say right now there are no signs of foul play. Our theory at this point is that it is possible that he could have worked his way between these two fence uh, gates and been able to access the, the CAP property. Juby's sister posted a statement on Facebook. Thank you for standing with us on this journey. It will not be over anytime soon. Now, detectives did say they didn't find anything on his electronic devices of any sort of suspicious activity, just normal family conversations. Uh, but so far, the medical examiner has not released the cause of death just yet. Reporting live in Scottsdale, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.